body position accounts for much of trials technique. With such light bikes, where and how you move your body has a huge impact on what the bike does. This happens less with a heavier enduro bike, but it's still a critical part of good riding technique. First, you should be standing on the foot pegs most of the time, so you can move your body around to maximise traction and control. Experienced enduro riders will usually only sit for sharp corners, very difficult terrain, or conserving energy on an easy section. This should be your default standing body position. Bend your legs, but keep your lower legs vertical. This puts your butt towards the rear of the bike, where it will help with traction. It also gives you a lot of stability on the bike, especially in rough terrain. Crouch lower when you need to lower your centre of gravity for situations like hard acceleration, soft sand and mud, gnarly terrain, high speed or rocky terrain. This will be harder on your quad muscles, so go back to the standard position when possible or just slow down and sit instead. Your elbows are always up and out to give you maximum control. Point your toes in so that your ankles grip the bike. This should naturally lead to gripping the bike with your legs when needed. It means you won't have to hang on to the handlebars so tightly. So your upper body, arms and hands won't tire as quickly. Whatever you do, don't stand with straight legs. This is very unstable and you will get thrown around more and lose control easily in rough terrain. Get someone to check your body positioning for you. You may think you are getting your weight over the rear of the bike, but still could be doing it wrong. The great thing about this body positioning is it works for hill climbs and descents because your centre of gravity is low. The only time you should need to move forward on the bike is for extremely steep sections, then return to your normal body positioning to keep that rear wheel weighted for traction. A quick note, many riders say this crouched position will be too tiring. But if you keep your lower legs vertical, this position will mainly use your quad muscles and shouldn't be too tiring. However, if you are unfit, you may need to do some exercise if you want to use the best body positioning. And for us older guys, a pair of steg pegs can help as well. This positioning makes the transition between standing and sitting easy, with maximum control of the bike during the transition. Your sitting position should always have your butt in line with the foot pegs. This is usually sitting at the very front of your seat. Again, always keep your elbows up and out for maximum control. It's best to have your toes on the foot pegs when sitting, so your boots aren't pointing down and exposed to the terrain. Your foot should always be covering the rear brake for immediate use. Trials riders often teach themselves this by practicing with the rear brake constantly on, but just varying it to suit the conditions. It's not a bad idea for cross training too. A common problem for beginners and sometimes experienced riders is not looking ahead far enough. Looking down at your front wheel or an upcoming obstacle will hamper your riding no end. Even when crossing a large log or hopping a ledge, you should be looking ahead. Trust your brain to react instinctively while tackling the obstacle as you consciously plan on your next moves. Trust us, you'll be a better rider for it.